And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved. Getting ready for the final battle. Not the final battle, I don't know. Uh, it's kind of hard to judge, though. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add another line of power going down here. And this one's going to go all the way to the very end. And that's where we're going to use it. So I'm going to take these away. And then one, two, one more. So this is going to be offset by two from the other batteries. And that's, that's a good thing to note. There we go. And I want to jump out over here if I can. So I've run the pipes to all of our ton or through all of our trenches. So they should be going all the way to the very end on all four. And this is a this is a big test to see if we can actually supply enough magma to power all four uh, infernos. So I want to actually craft let's see 25, 26, 27, 25. There we go. So there are four uh, four infernos. And I want to craft a couple more dazzlers. We're getting a little low on imbued blocks, so I might want to go up and take care of that. Uh, we need a couple things. We're going to need where would the injectors go freeze on injector that's what I'm looking for so it should be in here but which tab is it in so for future knowledge freeze on injector is in progression that's good to know and what do these take oh they take lancers I'm gonna craft ten of those I want to keep some Lancers on me. Uh, and I think that's it for now. So let's get to building this system here. Uh, this will allow me to push a lot of power downstream. As soon as this... Oh, it's already full. Yeah. I turned Detail Bloom off, so it's a little harder to see. So we're going to use the Mark II conduits, just like so, and then come down here and we should be able to offset this one by two as well. And that will give me a little bit of a space going all the way to the end. Now, from what I can recall DJ saying is... When you start fighting the cryoplasm, you actually, uh, only one cryo is active at any given time. So we might be able to just massively beef up one of these, and then the other one should kind of fall into place. Last one here for the conduit. So this should be able to generate lots of power. And let's sneak one in right in here. Okay. Flow down in. Float on down here. So we have a space here for quite a few of them. And I want them just blasting into this. And this is what, the third block up or the fourth? One, two, three. Yeah, that's the fourth block up. I need these to be a little higher. So one thing that I can do to beef this up a little bit is to use a Mark V battery B 
because my conduits actually can connect to a Mark V. You have to still connect it right into the middle of it, but you can still connect a Mark V. Okay, let's go over here. I'm going to take this away. I'm going to dig this back a little bit, give ourselves a little bit of extra room. Because I don't want to get too up close and personal. Uh, okay, now we have one, two, three, four. Uh, and this one would be five. And then that's three, so one on this side and one on this side. And if memory serves, these are nine tall. So if we want the very center to be right here, that's where the very center has to be, we need that to be nine tall. So, uh, yeah, right here. So we need four on this side. And then let's build this out. Okay, and then one, two, three, four. That should be centered right, right on this tile, which is where, which is where it needs to be. So one, two, three, four. I might even upgrade. I might even upgrade those conduits to the Mark Threes for the fifty thousand power per second. Get the full. There we go. So now we can put dazzlers. We can pack this thing full of cryo fighting equipment and really punch this thing right in the nose. And so there is, there's my pipes. And I round the pipes to be the opposite side of where the magma bore is. So the magma bore is on this side. And that's where the cryo is going to grow. The cryo is going to go right towards that area. Uh, and we want this to be completely empty. We don't want anything in the way over here. I could have even put that further back. Uh, yeah, I could have put it further back and been a little little bit better but you know we'll t we'll take what we can get all right so I want this to line right up and we need a little little walkway there for where we're gonna put the inferno now don't build the inferno don't finish it because it will immediately start to grow like really fast okay so there's one Two and do I want to set these up with Mark Threes? I think I do, just because it would be a little easier. I need to craft some more Mark Threes, so let's get to that. Um, we have. Uh, let's do craft, 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 craft. That should be plenty. Let's run along this side again. And I want to put Mark 3s instead. Mark 2s are good and all, but the Mark 3s are even better. Whoa! Thank you, Jetpack, for that little, little jaunt. Okay, so let's get some Mark 3s going here. Okay, Mark 3. I'm going to reset these to Mark 3s. Yeah, and there's still that error. You know, I've, I've gone through that code twice now, and I, for the life of me, cannot figure out why it's doing that. So, I'm, I might need to ask. See, this is linked to Conduit. It, it does link. They do link back and forth, and I've checked that code too, and it shouldn't be doing that. So, I'm, I'm in a conundrum kind of stumped on both both facets there. Okay, now 
for the Mark III. The Mark III beauties. Okay, so the Mark III there. We're pulling 50,000 power per second with these Mark III's. I'm using the jetpack just to be able to move a little bit faster. So there's a Mark III. There's a Mark III. And this one can't find conduit, which is fine because it's right over here. So let's build this out. So this is one, two, three, right here. Link to conduit. And there we go. It's 10,000 power per tick, which is 50,000 power per second. And it will load this battery beyond the uh, batteries downstream. So even though those batteries only hold 270, the math involved, I tweaked the math involved so it actually is able to furnish everything that we need. Okay, so this is one, two, three high. So I could put a Dazzler like right smack in the middle here. Uh, let's do this. So, pointing right at it. Where are my lights at? Okay, and then if I have behind here, whoa, with the jetpack. Behind here, I want to put some Lancers. And behind those, I want to put, let's see, uh, the Injectors. Like so. And then behind those, I need some more storage hoppers here. Stacking. And then we can put freeze on in here. And that will dramatically speed up how fast those things shoot. And then on the sides, we're gonna have melters. You can't freeze on inject melters from what from what, from what I remember. You can't do it. Uh, and then on the sides, we're gonna do some more melters. And some more melters. You can't have too many melters when you're fighting this stuff. So if I am right, that means the hmm. I'm already pushing pushing my luck here. So once we start, once we build the Inferno, this one will start growing. If we build the Infernos on, on the other four, they shouldn't grow because only one is ever active at a time. And that is kind of what I'm banking on. Okay, that is kind of in the way. Can anybody... Oh, thank you. Uh, all right, so with, with this process, I like to use one, two, three, four. I like to use a little method I call the torch, torch, uh, the way of the torch. Um, so let's get into this here. I want... Where be my infernos? There they are. So one, I want. I don't want it too close. That's weird. That one looks. That one looks higher than that one. That's weird. So one on each side, and then. And then don't finish it, but run your pipes. Am 
like so. The second you finish it, it'll start growing. And it will grow exceptionally fast. Like, oh man, so fast. So be very, very careful. Um, we'll probably see it next episode because I need to set up, I need to set up the infernos at all our locations so I can, once I build one, I can zip around and just build the rest of them as fast as possible. I need to recharge Arthur here before I do too much more because he is out of power. Jetpacks just absorbs the power. Camel bots be everywhere. You charge up Arthur. So this branch is ready. Now we need to ready up the other ones. And you can see the pipes, again, the opposite side of where the magma bore is. So that it's going to grow towards that direction. Well, I want to put the inferno on the other side. This side is the same way, although it's a very gentle curve. It's still a curve nonetheless. Um, so we need to zip onto the other side. I should have brought some power boosters, but I am so low. So low on inventory space at the moment. I shut down two of these as well. Uh, because this thing was absolutely full. I mean, we're talking absolutely full of Frieza's. So I've been letting this thing draw down a little bit before I re-enable those. Okay, Arthur is almost charged up, so let's uh, go out here. Now I'm not going to, on these, on these other ones, I'm not going to set up the super awesome, like, melter, massive dazzler setup that I did in the other ones, because once that other one is going, these shouldn't be active. Is there cryo over here? No. Okay. I do have... I do have uh, bombers on these, so they shouldn't... Shouldn't uh, get backed up with too much cryo. Okay, so the same thing over here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, let's let's dial that down a little bit. This is a little bright. That's a little bright. Okay, so the inferno has to go right underneath. So right, nope, right there. Is that right? Yes. Because it calculates the line of sight off the top of this. So the line of sight goes right into there, and that's where it finds it. Just like that, and then we need to do the pipe thing. Okay, and then pipe goes in like that. And that one is ready. I want maybe one more light on there just in case no guarantee that that will work this is going to be the true test i've never actually tried to take out two at once let alone four at once okay so this is the second one ready to go i'm kind of doing this counterclockwise here and let's uh, gather up some power just to save Arthur from using too much of his power on me. Let's zip to this side since I know this is where the pipe comes in. And this one's going to be a little trickier because, oh, that was a deep, way deeper cavern than I thought it was. Okay, so let's build out a little ways. I don't know where the midpoint is, so let's mark it right here. No, is this, this isn't the midpoint, this is the midpoint. Okay, and build this out. 
because this is where the magic happens. Okay, so one, two, three, and then let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I might have to get up close and personal with this one. Since our pipe is right here, I'm thinking this is where this has got to be, and that's pretty darn close. Okay, and then on this side, we can make it. Okay, and let's build that. Okay, so the center here goes down and in like that. All right, now I just have to do the other one and uh, we'll come back next episode and kick this off and see just how well this will work. No guarantees. I have no idea if these other ones are gonna, other ones are gonna go or not. So uh, we'll come back for that as soon as I get done putting the pipe system and the inferno on the other spawner. And we'll test her out. And Arthur is already very, very low on power. Boy, he just chews through that power. Okay. All right, well, that'll do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.